Okay, uh, so we're simplifying radicals now. Uh, you've done a quadratic formula, you've gotten this far, and you got negative 8. So what that tells us is, um, essentially, we're not going to have an x-intercept here. But they do want us to put this in simplest form. So my goal is, I'm going to actually look at this term here, negative 8. And I need to find two factors of negative 8, or there might be more. But factors of negative 8, let's kind of do a factor tree, where at least I can square root one of the factors. Now what did you come up with? 2 and 4. 2 and 4. Now, to make negative 8, one of these will have to be what? Negative. Negative. Let's apply it to the one we can't root. So which one do you want to make negative? 2. 2. So I'll make the 2 negative. So we now get x is equal to 12 plus or minus um, root 4 times root. So I just run beside each other, negative 2. I can't do anything with the root negative 2. Sorry, I'll divide it by 4 or negative 4. But it can simplify the 4 or the root 4. What is the root 4 going to become? Minus 2. Yep, plus or minus 2 times root negative 2 divided by negative 4. Now, I want you to notice I'm going to split this up a little. Technically, this can also be written like this. 12 over negative 4 plus or minus 2 over, sorry, 2 root 2 over negative 4. Okay, I've split it a little. Okay, just so I can start to simplify some of the other terms. Here, zoom back in. So we bring it up here. <clears throat> what is 12 divide negative 4? Um, yeah, negative 3 plus or minus. Can I simplify root or 2 divided by negative 4? 1 over negative 2? Yeah, 1 over negative 2. Okay. And times root. Two. Okay. So we're going to add or subtract negative 2 when we go through this question. Let's take a look. So we got plus or minus 1 over 2. Okay. There is one other thing. Um, what they did do here is you notice they didn't actually put negative a half because what's going to happen is we're going to get plus negative 1 over 2 and minus negative 1 over 2, which is going to turn this question into subtract 1 over 2. 2, and this one's going to be plus 1 over 2, right? Mm -hmm. It's the exact same thing as writing negative 3 plus or minus 1 over 2 root 2. I don't actually have to write plus or minus negative a half, but neither would really be wrong. I, I can't imagine negative upside if you wrote it the way we had. Does that make sense how we simplified that? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. So that's how they simplify that answer.